everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first visit and thank you for stopping by. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you a DIY that is going to be entered in the $10 thrift flip March 2020 challenge uh, that is hosted by Joan Brody from Thrift Queen. I'm going to leave the link to her channel in the description box and what can I tell you about Joan? <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> She's really really adorable. Uh, it's a joy to, to listen to to watch her videos. She has Q&A, she has tips if you want to start the channel. She's all about helping you do whatever you want to do in YouTube and she's all about thrifting and uh, you know, the famous trash to treasure, um, donations, so you name it. Uh, just go and visit her channel. It's really worthy. Thank you, Joanne, for, for hosting this challenge. I will also leave the link to the uh, playlist where you will be able to watch all the videos from all the participants in this challenge. This, In this case, for this month, we are supposed to make some something whatever in this case it's going to be a piece of the core for ten dollars or less including all materials and has to be something about spring i have had this embroidery hoop for i don't know how long i bought it because i was planning on making those uh, wheels from for um, those bicycles, bikes, wheels, a, sm a small version of course, and I never did it. So I had already painted it, spray painted it with rust -oleum, the weather steel one, and uh, I have distressed it a little bit using the um, my favorite, I, I didn't bring it here, my favorite one which is the um, liquid shoe polish from Dollar Tree. It gives it a kind of a rusted look. Anyways, now I don't think, well yes, maybe this side is going to be seen because I'm going to do something that is going to cover this area. I decided to use this for a small wreath. I had these flowers since 2006 I think and they have a special meaning for me because they come from the office of my best friend who passed away in 2013, three, sorry, <laughs> 2003, I'm so sorry. Um, so I have had them around since then and they are a treasure for me and I never found a way to showcase them, only them, I have had them in bases and with along with other flowers but I wanted them to be the main point of the um, piece I I was placing them in. So suddenly I saw this and I saw this and I thought perfect match. So first I'm going to adhere the flowers with glue gun to the Embroidery hoop. Let me see. Okay, as usual, some pressure to keep it in place. I may have to cut this later, so I'm going to place it this way. I'm not sure. I'm 
are going to place this flower here for it to be seen, otherwise it's kind of hidden. So that's it by now. Let me see, I'm going to bend this. I will probably cut it later, I'm not sure if I'm going to bend it or cut it. Okay, let's let's see. So I want this to be this way. So I'm going to glue it here. Doesn't want to stay. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> okay, I maybe I will have to have some wire here or some E6000 later to make this branch, to fix this branch to the hoop. Well, okay, forget about that. Now what I'm going to do is to add these pieces of I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, this comes from these mops that you buy at Dollar Tree. I already have it because I have a lot of them because I'm planning on making some yums. But I decided that it was perfect to add some of them to this hoop. It's really easy to remove them. You just pull and you get one of these pieces. <laughs> then you only have to untwist them, separate them, which is also really easy. Like so. And then you get these pieces. <laughs> Sorry, you know, English is my, not my mother language, so sometimes I don't know the name of things. Let me see. I hope it's not going to be really bulky if I keep this part of the stem. So now, what I'm going to do is to, I think it's this way. There is one way when the knot looks good. Another way. Yes, this is the way. So I'm going to start adding them. As you see, it's really easy. Okay. I'm almost done. I'm going to add the last uh, tassel. Remember, you have to place this hole on top and the rest of the tassel from behind. So the knot is going to look like this. Otherwise, it ends up upside down. I think that five is enough. I like how they look. There are some things on my table, some red stuff that I have to remove. Well, I'll do it better later. And um, I've seen options where people cut these 
tassels in kind of a B shape. I really like how they look in different lengths, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Sorry. I was finally able to solve the problem with this branch. I just, I hope you can see it, I passed it under the green one and now it stays pointing that way in not, uh, and, and not outside. And so I like it better. And now I'm going to take one of these pieces of yarn before um, and twisting them and twisting it. So I'm going to use it to hang the wreath from my wall. I'm going to make another knot, but in this case, as I said, I'm not going to and twist it. I'm going to make a knot here, very rustic. I like it that way. Of course, if you're going to recreate something like this, it's up to you. You can use another kind of twine, maybe a ribbon, whatever you like. But I prefer to use the same thing to hang it from my wall. And this would be the final item, the final product. I really spent almost nothing. I had everything. But let's say that I had to buy the mop is one dollar. The flowers of course are free. This hoop cost me I think two dollars, something like that. I, I bought it at the thrift store many years ago, several years ago. So let's say two dollars, three dollars, and I had the, the glue sticks, I had the paint. So any, anyways, let's say five dollars, and I think it's too much anyways, much more than I really spent. And I like how it looks and I finally can showcase my flowers that are a treasure for me in a special way. I hope you like this idea and uh, if so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and ring the bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks again to Joanne for hosting this challenge. I love it. I really love it. And please visit her channel, channel <laughs> sorry, and the playlist because you will get, as I always say, a lot of inspiration. At least I do. I love watching at all the wonderful things crafters come up with every time I participate in a challenge. Hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.